Welcome to Espresso Jams, short, concentrated, delicious conversations about business, life, and more. And now, here's your host, Joe Matz. Hello, everyone. Joe Matz here with another episode of Espresso Jams. Today, I have the pleasure of having Ryan Fallon with us. And Ryan Fallon is a real estate agent out of at, with Remax. Uh, he also has a podcast called the Epic Phelan Podcast, and he comes from a long line of entrepreneurs. So it is a pleasure to have you here with us today, Ryan. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm, it's a, it's totally the pleasure is all mine. I'm I'm very excited for the the interview. That's great to have you, Ryan. Where do you hail from this morning? I am out of Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Ah, lovely, lovely, lovely. <laughs> That's yeah. great. So and we're, we're a little bit we're on the cold side right now. <laughs> so yeah. <it's>, <laughs> yeah. So we we got um, connected through a mutual friend, and we got talking about uh, the situation that's going on in local businesses and the challenges that that they're having. And um, I thought Ryan had some really cool information to share with everyone today. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Um, just looking at. Uh, well, we're coming up on the holiday season, but the other season that we have right now is cold and flu, of course. And of course, we're dealing with Corona or COVID-19. Um, it's tough. It's tough for independent businesses. And I just think it's very important right now for everybody to to go out there and support your local business, um, whether it be the baker, the barber, um, you know, the little party store, the independent guys um, that um, maybe have some seemingly stricter rules on, on, on how they do business compared to the big boys. So by supporting them and maybe taking a look at some of the things that um, a smaller or independent business can do to, um, to make it easy for their clientele to come and see them and, or to uh, maybe whether it be curbside or, or um, delivery, there are all sorts of things that they can do to help stay open and make sure that their livelihood continues. Right. Now, I'm a big supporter of local businesses. I live in, in a small town of Apex, and we have a beautiful downtown, really quaint, and there's a lot of businesses there. And I always think, oh, I could go to one of the big box retailers, not to say any names today, yeah. Uh, yeah. or I could go there and I could support the people that I know and the people that support my community, the people who, who donate to the football team, to the baseball team, to the kids' soccer team, the people who, who make this community a community. Absolutely. And that now is now is the time like, and I've, you know, been involved in, in family business and, and whatnot. And um, I've and being with Remax and being part of several committees, I do have, um, I do reach out a lot of times to say, hey, you know, do you want to support a charity in this in this regard or that regard? And it's often to um, local business, but here's here's an opportunity that we have um, wherever you live in your city to be able to to reach out um, and support and help now help those businesses that have always been there for the community. Right. And I know a lot of the businesses have gotten into uh, what they call now touchless, the new name, right? Touchless delivery, touchless service. Uh, the other day I saw a chair outside a store and it said, what did it say? Oh, it was kind of like if you ordered something, they would put it on the chair for you and you would oh. just come by and pick it up or you could go inside. So they're being yeah. flexible. They're being flexible in that way. Um, and, I, and I think that's really important too. Um, there's, of course, you see it if you're on social media, you get people that have one idea and they might be a no masker kind of people and you have the people that are pro masters and, and they're clashing. It's like, as a business owner, really kind of stay away from any of that and, and offer both, right? And say, hey, if, if you're not comfortable coming into a store with other people in it, we have this option, like a touchless option, where we'll wipe everything down and we'll set it outside the store for for pickup, or if you want to come in, you know, absolutely. Now, I don't want to get into trouble here with getting into a subject that we we shouldn't be talking about <laughs> um, in business yeah. aspect. But what what do you mean when you say masters pro masters? Oh, a mask masks with the um, uh, oh a so, masker. Yeah, a masker. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, no, oh, no masters. Oh. No, 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 that could be a dangerous one. <laughs> Masker. Oh, it, it's all these people in the United States. They have such strange accents. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, so you get the people that are, you know, the anti-masker, right? They're like, they're saying, oh, um, right. I think masks are bad for people. And then you get the people that, oh, no, masks are great. I had a, I listened to, um, it was another radio show, kind of a similar kind of podcast feel to it. And these guys are shock jocks. So I was kind of thinking that they were going to lean this one way. But really what they said, they said at the end of the day, if I walk into um, my little convenience store or grocery shopping, and by having a mask on, if that makes the um, the little old lady that's walking down the aisle feel a little more comfortable, if that's all that it does, you know what, this is, this is, uh, this is important too, right? That's so, right, yeah. Um, I think, you know, regardless, and again, as a business, regardless of what your your thoughts are on it, you should stay what, apolitical, I guess would be the, the term. And, um, and just uh, let people do their thing. There's going to be people with all sorts of different levels of comfort. I mean, including myself, I know that I've, I've been like an emotional roller coaster with the whole thing. There's times where I'm like, oh, this is all malarkey. And then I'm like, oh my God. And then I get really freaked out and I'm like, no, I don't want to get it. So I, I think always exercising the side of caution. Mm. Um, and, and of course, abiding by, by your local bylaws and whatnot is, is, is ideal. <laughs> yeah. And I think you, you hit on a very important point. If we can wear a mask for 10 minutes or 20 minutes and make other people feel comfortable, it's such a little act of kindness. And if the mask does something or doesn't do something, I know there's people on both sides of the aisle there. Yeah, exactly. Um, but if you can make people feel comfortable just by doing that small act, it is an act of kindness towards your fellow man. Absolutely. And, it, and I know there's the, I mean, again, without getting um, political or being controversial at all, but I mean, I know that there's the people that worry about their, their, their rights and whatnot, but I mean, it's, but it's a courtesy, right? And it's like, I think everybody just needs to take a breath, <laughs> I guess, I mean, and take a, take a deep breath and just say, hey, you know, like, what can I do? Again, going back to that whole being local, you know, what can I do to support the community? It's like, maybe, you know, maybe it is wearing a mask. Maybe it is going down to the local butcher and, and, um, and just, there's all sorts of different amazing things that you'll actually find in, in your city, if, especially if you haven't, haven't done it before, right? There's, yes. there's um, I put a post out here on uh, social media here, just asking people, who are they going to support locally um, in the community over the holidays and during um, this pandemic, mm. which I think there's some light at the end of the tunnel. Thank God. But, um, but, you know, by asking this, it was, it was a great post. I had so many people shared it and then or wrote up their own version of it, which I'm totally fine with. And they, um, and the response, I think I had over a hundred responses. To wow. It and and I think that's a great action step for anyone listening to this. I'm sure Ryan would be comfortable if you took his idea and posted <laughs> oh, it on your website. Would, would please, that be okay? Oh yeah, please steal it. Um, I think what I said was something along the lines of um, um, just a question out there. What, you know, what local business or independent business are you going to be supporting during um, the, the holiday season and, and throughout the pandemic? That's great. Uh, I, I am going to be the first one, perhaps, unless someone beats me to it. I'm going to be the first one to <laughs> borrow that idea. So and, totally, totally borrow it, steal it. It's, it's, it's all yours. I think it's a and great thing. Ryan, how, how can someone get in touch with you if they want to know more about, about you and your business, what's going on in Calgary, and um, your, or a, your podcast? There's, okay, there's a few different ways. Um, one, you could go, you could check out through Spotify um, or... Uh, oh, well, we'll put the, the name of the pot. We'll put the name of the yeah. podcast written down below. Yeah, Epic Phelan is the Perfect. podcast. The spelling then, will be there also. Yeah, and then um, so yeah, spelled like my last name. Um, but then also uh, for real estate, it's you could go to the Calgary Real Estate Guy dot com. Perfect. Um, so either either one of those, and yeah, you know, look me up on Facebook, Ryan Phelan. I'm I'm everywhere. You'll see a Remax balloon with me usually. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> shameless self promotion. That's a <laughs> of course. Hey, we we accept that. That's all right, man. You're a great guy. I had a lot of fun talking with you today, right? Oh yeah, this is this is really great. I enjoyed it too. Um, yeah, 
And I look forward, okay. maybe, maybe we'll meet again. Very good. I look forward to it. Bye now. Yeah. Stay warm. Absolutely. Stay Thank you. Bye now.